a daring attack in the heart of Beirut's posh downtown Solidair area. The car bomb killed former finance minister Mohammed Shatah, his bodyguard and four others. Shatah's car was tossed into the air and it landed here. Shatah was a close aide and a top advisor to former Prime Minister Saad al-Hariri and a leading figure in Hariri's future movement and the March 14th anti-Syria coalition. The explosion took place just a short distance from the residence of Saad al-Hariri. That's where Shatah had his office. Security has been very tight here lately, but that was not enough to prevent this attack. We were inside and felt glass breaking and coming in. Then we heard the sound and that's what happened. An explosion happened, an explosion continued to break. We waited until it was all broken, then went out and saw this. As you can see, all these shops here are damaged. I consider all this terrorism. All this is terrorism, damaging the country and the people. What more can I say? God help us. God help this country. As investigators looked for clues, politicians said they already know who was behind this attack. And they pointed the finger to Iran and Hezbollah. Hariri, who has not set foot in Lebanon for more than a year, said the killers of Shatah are the same as those of his father. Following the explosion and in a defiant move, the March 14th leaders met at Hariri's residence near the explosion site. The killer is the same, him and his Lebanese allies, from Dera to Aleppo to Damascus, all of Syria. The same killer is targeting the heroes of Lebanon. Two weeks before the start of the work of the international court investigating the killing of President Rafiq al-Hariri, they killed Mohammed Shatta. It's not the first car bomb to hit Lebanon this year. In November, the Iranian embassy was targeted. Over the summer, there were attacks in the Hezbollah stronghold of Beirut's southern suburbs. Dozens were killed then. And in Tripoli, twin car bombs went off outside two mosques. Lebanese politicians may disagree on various issues, but when it comes to the deteriorating situation in their country, they share the same view. The civil war next door in Syria is the reason for it. Hezbollah accused Saudi Arabia of being behind the attacks on the Shia neighborhoods. And Saudi Arabia's allies here are now accusing Iran of today's bombing. But for the people who live in Lebanon, their country is turning into a battleground for regional players. This war is, uh, is transforming the whole uh, political landscape. It's uh, transforming even the borders uh, that were prevailing uh, uh, before this uh, Syrian revolution. So it could be as a part of uh, a big attempt to uh, redraw the whole uh, Levant map. Mohammed Shatah was a key figure in lobbying the international community to bring the killers of the former Prime Minister Rafiq al-Hariri to justice. He always stressed it was important to deter the perpetrators from further killings. Eight years later, an international tribunal is set to start on January 16. But that did not stop the assassination of Shatah himself. Rula Amin, Al Jazeera, downtown Beirut.